So allegedly, the liver king is a fraud. Apparently, he lied. Not that I'm surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Before we get started, guys, please subscribe, like, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it helps a lot. It really pushes the algorithm through so people could actually see my video and my views go up and so on and so forth and, and subscribe. And if you like what you see, share it with somebody. But anyway, get back to the liver king. His real name is Brian Johnson. He came onto the scene of social media in August 2021. He has these strange tactics for, for muscle building and health, apparently. This guy became famous because he eats raw meat, specifically liver. And he says that we have to go back to how our ancestors used to eat in order to stay healthy and gain lean muscle mass. <clears throat> you guys see what, I mean, you saw what he looks like. Nobody looks like that without taking steroids, in my opinion, anyway. But apparently, somebody else called him out. And somebody else actually exposed him. Apparently, there was an email sent to somebody. And this person released the information on the email. The person was Derek from More Plates, More Dates, which is another social media uh, personality, I guess you could say. I think he has a YouTube channel. I don't really follow him. But the Liver King has 2.5 million Instagram followers and 1.5 followers on TikTok. I mean, this guy is has a huge, huge following. And for what? Uh, because he eats raw liver from animals that he hunts, apparently. And uh, it gives him health and wellness and fitness and so on and so forth. And he says that that's what we have to go back to. And he has sworn up and down that he has not touched any anabolic steroids whatsoever. He has said it on podcast, if the podcast, if the podcast, he said he never touched this stuff. He just lives a clean life. He gets lots of sleep. He lives in the cold. He lives primally. He eats raw meat, dead animal flesh, apparently, and makes these outrageous claims. But uh, Derek released this information, and apparently it's a lie. He does take PEDs. Now, if anybody takes a look at this guy, I mean, um, he looks I mean, he looks like a bodybuilder, and, and that's just what the case is. They use steroids. But anyway, not only did this guy release the information about what steroids he took, he released how much he took, and he released where the hormone clinic he got it from was. The name of the hormone clinic was Evolve Telemedicines. That's apparently where he got it from, according to Derek from More Plates, More Dates. So this is what he was taking, right? IGF-1, CJC, Ibutamarin. I even heard of that. I had to look that one up. Omnitrope, Test Sip, Deca, and Winstrol. Okay. IGF-1 and Omnitrope go hand-in-hand. Hand. Omnitrope is growth hormone, all right? It was always said that IGF-1 and growth hormone work well together, so he, he uses that. CGC is a peptide that stimulates your body's natural growth hormone. And then Ibutamarin, which I never heard of, actually forces the GH and the IGF-1 to work better, and thereby creating a better result of lean muscle mass and so on and so forth. Tessipinate, okay, uh, it's testosterone that's highly anabolic. Um, apparently, he was taking 20 milligrams per, oh, no, 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 I apologize, 70 milligrams per week, which is basically a maintenance dosage. It's not, it's not very high, but he still takes it. Deca, 100 to 150 milligrams a week, which is relatively low. And Winstrol, 50 milligrams a day, which is common, right, common. But he takes it. Not only does he take it, apparently he spends $30,000 a month taking it. Wow. And here's, the bit, here's another one. This, this blows me away. The, the, the growth hormone he uses, he uses between 12 and 16 units a day. Average use is about four. But when I was competing, I used growth hormone. I used four units a day. He's usually between 12 and 16. Most competitive bodybuilders use three to six 
in that in that range. He's using 12 and 16. Look, I don't know why. I don't know what his blood, you know, his uh, blood tests are and so on and so forth. I don't know what his GH levels in his blood are. I'm sorry, a little tongue tied there. I don't know. So on. I really don't know. But there's a lot of social media personalities that are just frauds. There's a lot of them. And you, do you realize how irresponsible that is? It's irresponsible because young men that want to put on muscle and look good and meet girls and and become an influencer themselves, they follow these guys. That's why they call them influencers, okay? This is irresponsible. He's not the only one. I've seen ridiculous things. I've seen ridiculous claims. Uh, I saw one bodybuilder before. Um, he wasn't pro. He was a social media sensation, not a real bodybuilder. He's a guy that works out. He took a whole entire jug of pre-workout, poured the water in it, was drinking it like that. And you're supposed to take one scoop, put it in eight ounces of water, drink it, and go to the gym. It's full of caffeine. I mean, that's so irresponsible because a kid is going to see that and he's going to try it. And so, and this that's what's happening with this. And this guy is making money hand over fist because now he has his own product line because he has a following and people want to use what he uses. He gets advertisement dollars. So he makes a lot of money so from from all his uh, all his social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, whatever the hell else he's on. It's it's absolutely ridiculous that these guys have no remorse whatsoever. Now, apparently, this is obviously all legit. The other thing is, I don't know why Derek from More Plates, More Dates released this information. I don't know what he has against Olivia King or what happened between the two of them. Apparently, Olivia King was trying to get some workout knowledge from him and sent him this the, his blood work and sent him how much stuff he uses and sent him where he got it from, and, and it was supposed to be confidential, and this guy revealed it. I don't know why, but that that's that's basically what happened. All right, guys, look. Do some research. Don't rely. Social media personalities and influencers are famous because they're on social media. Find somebody that is actually has actually accomplished something before going on social media. So if you want to research health and fitness or bodybuilding or how to build muscle, research guys that actually have accomplished something that has either trained somebody to an elite level or had, was an elite level bodybuilder or fitness person or so on and so forth. I mean, that just makes sense to me, okay? These, if, if the extreme personalities are making money, then obviously the more extreme the personality, the more money they're going to make, the more ridiculous it is. But if it's all fun and for shits and giggles and you like watching them, it's entertaining, great. But you can't tell me that 2.5 million people on Instagram are just watching for entertainment. You know that there's a significant amount of those people that really believe his nonsense, right? And will try what he's doing, like eating raw organs, it's unreal. Okay. So, all right. You want to know about working out, follow Charles Glass, follow Dave Palumbo, follow Chris Aceto. I mean, literally email me and I'll give you a list of guys and their YouTube channels and their Instagrams, and you'll be able to follow them. And they're legit. These guys are the in the top of their fields. George Farah, Dexter Jackson, uh, even Fuad Abiy, even Nick Trigilli. I'm not a big fan of Nick Trigilli. He likes to gossip a lot, but I'm not going to deny that he doesn't know what he's talking about. He was a pro bodybuilder, and he's very knowledgeable. So you can go watch it. Ron Harris is is also of uh, a, a wealth of knowledge that not too many people tap into. He's on muscular development. Come and look at my show on muscular development. On YouTube, once a week, muscular development has a show, MD Muscle Talk, and I am hosting it. And I, it's not... I'm not giving you the information. I have a a ton of great bodybuilders, trainers, fitness people that come on, and we talk about these things. Jason Ons, um, Fackery. I had on King Kamali. I've had on Charles Griffin. Uh, uh, I've had on uh, Ron Harris. These people are extremely, extremely knowledgeable. If you want more info, e email me. Uncle John 1201 at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. All right. It's just don't follow social media influencers 
who make these insane claims and do these insane things for views and advertisement dollars. It's going to get you nowhere. And then you know what? This guy lied. So what else does he lie about? Does he really eat raw liver? Or is it something that he just does when the camera's on and he goes and like orders Chinese food when the, when he's, when the camera's off? Because once you lie and once you're a fraud, then people are always going to think you're a fraud. I made a vow when I started my podcast, my YouTube channel, that I was going to be completely clear, completely honest, that I wasn't going to lie about anything. Have I done steroids? Yes. Do I still use testosterone for a um, testosterone therapy to keep my test levels uh, regular? Yes, I do. Have I used growth hormone in the past? Yes. When I competed, I used I used anabolic steroids, and I would never deny it. And I can I'll I would if anybody asks, I'll tell you the amounts. I would tell you what I use, so on and so forth. And, and you know what? People respect honesty. They respect transparency. And then you can't get you can't get cornered. Now, what's this guy going to say? Uh, hopefully, he has some uh, information that makes these claims irrelevant but i doubt it because apparently the email was directly from him but this is the world we live in so we have a, a bunch of clowns on social media that influence these these young kids today that that you know and it can be dangerous i mean it can it can be dangerous this guy made a claim that if you have heart trouble eat a heart from a from a strong healthy animal and that'll help Come on, man. You know, I just, it's unbelievable. If you still follow him after this, then I can't help you. But the people that I listed are legitimate, elite, top of their class, top of their world, bodybuilders, trainers, fitness people, gurus. They're the best of the best. Why not go to them? All right, listen, guys, like, subscribe, share, and I've got more content coming up. i got more interviews coming up, and uh, believe me, we'll be picking up the pace. And watch me once a week. I'm going to be over on Muscular Development YouTube, MD Muscle Talk. This week, we're actually going to be uh, going over the top 10 in the Mr. Olympia, and we'll probably talk about the Liver King as well. And it's going to be a good show. So come over and watch. Uh, when it comes out and stay, stay tuned, tuned and like and subscribe all right guys take care